Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to connect ActiveCampaign to WordPress. So what we're going to do is just create a simple form that we can then put on our website and then people can just type in their email address, click on submit, and then they will end up on your email list on your email newsletter. If you don't have a website and you want to use a landing page instead and you want to build it with ActiveCampaign, then just skip ahead to the next part because I'm also going to show you how to do that. But now to connect your website to ActiveCampaign, we want to come over here or first of all, we can go back to the dashboard here by clicking on the ActiveCampaign logo and then we want to go to website. And then here we can see that we have two options. We have forms and we have pages. So if you already have a website, then you just need to create a form and put it on your website. But if you need to create a website like a landing page, then you want to click on pages, but we're going to create a form. So we're going to stick here to forms. So let's just click on create a new form. And then we have to first give our form a name. So let's just say default sign up form. And we also have different form styles. So we have the inline form, which is great to put like on a blog post. We have the floating bar where you can see just a bar at the top of the website to ask people to sign up or we have the floating box on the bottom right, or we have the modal option, which just pops up in the center of the screen. I'm gonna show you how to create a simple inline form. So I'm gonna click on inline form. And then we also already have to define the action. What will happen to the people who sign up on that form? So the easiest thing you can do is just subscribe it to a list. So subscribe to a list and we only have one list currently. So it's going to be the master contact list. You can also add multiple actions so you can add it to other lists as well, or you can tag them, whatever you want. So that's good for me. So I'm just going to click on create. And this will take us to the active campaign form builder where we can design the sign up forum that we'll put on our website. So the first thing we want to do here is click on options here on the top right. And then where it says on submit, this is where you can define what should happen when somebody actually types in their email address and clicks on submit. So by default, they will just uh, see this message here. Thanks for signing up. Um, if you want to change the text, you can just change the text here. Or if you want to send people to a specific website when they sign up, then you can just switch this to open URL and then type in the URL here wherever you want to send people when they submit their email address. I'm just going to leave it at show thank you. So they actually stay on the page where they sign up. Then we also want to click on this gear icon here where it says opt in options. And here is where you can turn on or turn off the opt in confirmation. So by default, the opt in confirmation is turned on, which means that whenever somebody signs up uh, using this form, they will get an email to have them confirm that they actually want to be on your email list. So this has an ad advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that you only get people who really want to be on your list. But the disadvantage is that if people don't confirm on that email, then you, this person won't be on your list and you can send them follow up emails. So what I personally do is just turn this off. And then in my welcome email, I let everybody know that they can unsubscribe at any time at the bottom of every email. This way I don't lose any contacts, but that's really up to you. So let's click on save. Now let's click on style here in the center and then scroll all the way down. And then we want to uncheck the AC branding, the active campaign branding. We just want to make sure we can actually click the button and this will just get rid of the active campaign logo at the bottom of your form. Now, the next step is to actually customize the form to what you want it to look like. So let's click on fields. And then here we can see different things we can ask in the form. So by default, it just asks for the name and the email address. I'm just going to show you how to create a very simple form that looks very minimalistic and clean. So first, I'm not going to ask for the name. So I'm just going to click on the uh, X here and remove the name. And then I'm going to click on the email field here and I'm just going to delete the header as well. And then the header will be gone. I'm just going to type an email here so then they can see email here in the in the field itself. And then I'm going to delete this message here also. And I'm just going to change the title here to let's say subscribe for um, our email news letter or whatever you want to add here. You can also just delete it uh, altogether and then just add the text on your website. 
the next thing is I want to change some of the design options. So what you can do is just go to style and then play around with the colors here, the button color, for example, we can change this to let's make this let's say green like this, um, just play around with it until it looks like you want it to look now with this builder, it's kind of cumbersome. But um, if you want to change, for example, if you want to make the button a bit larger, we're going to have to add some custom CSS code. So I'm just going to show you what I would do. So I'm just going to go to the inspector and then I'm going to click on this text field here and I'm going to make the email text go into the center by just typing in text uh, hyphen align colon center and then semicolon and then you can see the email uh, text will be in the center. And then I'm again going to click on the inspector, click on the button. And then here, I'm going to change the width to 100%. So I'm going to type in width 100% semicolon. And just like that, we have the button just all the with the entire width. So you can play around with this however you want to. If you want to do something and you don't know how to do it, just click on this button here, contact support. And then they will definitely help you to create the form exactly how you want it to look like. So let's say we're done with the form here. So let's click on integrate here on the top right. So now let's look at how to put that form that we've just created onto your website. So one way is to just copy the HTML code that you can see here and then put it in the HTML code of your website. However, that's not really the best way. So what you want to do is look if your website builder has an integration with active campaign, which a lot of website builders do, and then install that integration. And then it's going to be a lot easier to connect your forms to your website. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on a WordPress website and use the active campaign plugin on WordPress. So I have one example WordPress site here where we're going to install the active campaign plugin. So let's just go to plugins and click on add new here. And then let's search for active campaign. And uh, there we go. This is the the plugin we need to install. So let's just click on install now. So now the plugin is installed. Next, we need to connect this plugin with our active campaign account. So let's go to settings and then go to active campaign. And then we have to copy and paste the API URL and the API key from our active campaign account to these fields here. So let's go to our active campaign account and we can actually click on save and exit. Then here we want to go all the way to the bottom left where it says settings. Then let's go to developer and then here we can see the API access. So the URL, let's just click on copy API URL, paste it in here and then also copy the API key and paste it in here and then click on connect then scroll down and click on update settings. And now active campaign is connected to our WordPress website. So now to put your form onto your website, we can, for example, go to our posts. And then I'm just going to go to this first example post here. And now we have the plugin installed. So we can just use the plugin to add any form that we have on our active campaign account and add it to our website. So if I want to have the form just like under this text here, I just click on the plus sign here on the bottom left. And I'm just going to look for active campaign. There we go here AC form. So let's click on AC forms. And then here I can choose the form that we've created the default sign up form. And there we go. Now we have the form that we have created on our WordPress website. To make this active, let's click on update. And now let's actually check if our form works. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, then let's go to this post and then just type in an example address just to see if it works. I'm just going to type an example at gmail.com and click on submit. And now we can see the thank you message that we've seen before. And now we should be able to go back to uh, to active campaign, go to contacts. And now we can see example at gmail.com is now in our contacts. So the form 